Cursor 2 just dropped with its new model Composer, but I want to know if it runs in the agent mode using a local LLM. So if you want to know how to get it all set up to run locally, then stick around. A couple of things before I waste your time. You do still need an internet connection. We're going to be running Grok, which proxies your local host to the web, but it's not demanding on your internet connection as much as you think. Secondly, is the power of your machine. You need a very powerful machine to run this. These tests took over 10 minutes per prompt. So unless you're just playing around and just want to get it running and understand things a bit more, or you have a very, very powerful machine, don't waste your time, go touch some grass. So with that all being said, let's crack on with it. So first thing is to download LM Studio and Ngrok. Now you can download LM Studio or Olama. There's a reason why I go for LM Studio, which we'll get to in a minute, but you can do this with a bit of to and fro in with Alama if you already have that installed. In fact, if you go to my Bolt and Alama video, you'll see basically how to increase the context size. So once you've got that downloaded, if we go ahead and get OpenAI's model, you can choose whatever model you want. Um, it could be a Quencoder or something like that. The thing you wanna be mindful of is the actual size of the model for two reasons one obviously the amount of room you've got on your computer and also the amount of vram you have now vram is an interesting subject in general if you have a mac then you know how much vram that you'll have uh, because it's unified memory we'll go into it in my podcast which will be streaming hopefully later on today every friday you can go check out my podcast command ai we'll, we're going to get into all that anyway so i've got this downloaded okay and if i go up here and i can open uh and load it in the thing that you're going to be want to be cautious of is the context length so what you might find is that this is something like 4000 and that is not a, an appropriate context size for a you know a reasonable code base a lot of the tutorials i've seen they just leap they don't increase the context size and they're going to run into trouble when they're doing it with bigger code bases what i have seen is that you can view the model usage as a beta feature inside of lm studio that might be a pc only thing i haven't seen it but basically this will show how much vram you're going to be using up it's a really nice feature i hope it comes to mac soon or if you know how to enable that let me know down below the other thing you're going to be want interested in is the kv optimization and if you can can select 16 here I've also seen some beta features which is flash attention which you should turn on as well this can help with performance this is going to help get more out of the model you can see it's experimental uh, let's just add it see if that helps but this is there's a way of compressing basically the model with all that being done you're going to want to serve this model now this is now being served on your machine you can chat with it in lm studio we're not going to want to do that we're going to go back in here you'll see it's reachable at localhost one two three four let's copy that so to get this working in cursor OpenAI expects a remote uh, URL. We can't just do local host in there. It just it just won't work. So we need to host this remotely. That's where ngrok comes into play. So I'm inside of my terminal here. I use warp links down below. Everyone asks me all the time about this terminal. I love it. So if we go into if we go ngrok http uh, one two three four, this should give us a remote URL that points to localhost one two three four. So if we copy that knock back into cursor pop that in and we want to go v1 just there and this can be absolutely anything you like now we've got that set up let's add a new model add a custom model and we'll call it gptoss now on windows i think you need to name this exactly the name that's determined uh here Double check that if you're on Windows, but um, I think we're good to go on Mac. Now we've enabled our localhost model. If we go into here, we'll unselect auto, select GPT OSS, clear the chat, uh, update the background of input to green, whatever. My Mac is pumping out a little bit of heat, but no more than normal. You see it's received on this end. Let's do its thing. And there we go. So that took 
an incredible amount of time, probably about 10 minutes just to make that change. What tends to happen is that it can run just a, a little bit faster the second time round, but it's still pretty slow. So realistically, you'd want to put you'd want to load in a smaller model or if you have a more powerful machine this is an m1 max with 64 gig of ram so it's pretty powerful you can kind of see how much computing power this this stuff needs and let's switch over to the new agent mode here i haven't actually used this and so we've still got gpt or says let's switch it back so it looks like it's doing its thing now i don't know if you can hear that there but that that is going that is going absolutely nuts there you go all done so as suspected uh, rerouting your cursor into lm studio or equally Llama using the agent mode is perfectly fine as you just saw and as i told you at the beginning this does take a long amount of time i again would not recommend this unless you've got a very very powerful machine what i would recommend if you want to do the vibe code thing then i download bolt.diy which does natively link to olama known internet connection required or if you just want the classic agentic experience download something like kilo code which again lets you point to something completely locally that all being said this is so much fun to play around with i enjoyed learning and discovering kind of the nooks and the crannies of all this sort of stuff to better my understanding of AI. I do think we'll get to a future where this stuff is a lot more powerful and I'm running an M1. So an M the new M5 or an M4 Max might be plenty powerful for this sort of stuff. Anyway, I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Patreon for next level early release and advanced learner material. You can find that at patreon.com slash 0x5 M5. Oh, and don't forget my podcast, Command AI, which I'll leave links to down below the like button. And until next time, Keep on vibing.